Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now if you watched my last video, you might remember this statistic. 45% of Americans believe in ghosts. Uh, full disclosure here, I don't. I'm an atheist, I don't believe in anything as far as the afterlife is concerned. Now it's possible that there are atheists who do believe in ghosts, but it's pretty unlikely. Uh, since most atheists, like me, don't believe in an afterlife. So I think it's a safe bet to say that 99.9% .9 of the people who believe in ghosts are theists. Chances are if you believe in an afterlife, you believe in God. And at least some of you believe in ghosts. But what does a belief in ghosts tell you about what people believe about God? A, a ghost is a person who has died and has not gone to heaven, hell, or purgatory, if you believe in that. They are stuck here in this world somewhere between this life and the afterlife. Some of them are in houses, some in graveyards, some are out in fields or along the highways, but they lead kind of pointless existences stuck between worlds, and God lets it happen. All those lonely, desperate souls and this all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving, perfect God has either abandoned them or lost track of them. Well, what's that all about? Religious doctrine insists we have souls and that after we die, the souls move on to another life. But I don't know of any religious doctrine that deals specifically with the phenomenon of ghosts. This appears to be something that is kind of a strange offshoot of religious beliefs that's kind of laid on over whatever the person has as a religious belief. But if you believe in God and ghosts, you have to believe that your God is either a, a bit of a dick or incredibly incompetent. That he's just lost track of thousands of souls over the year. Thanks for listening.